Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel and this is your tip of the week. This is a book on using grommets on your home decor and the title is Home Decor Using Grommets. I bought it at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. It was in the clearance section so I don't know if it's still there but I just looked on the or on Amazon in the book section and you can get it and it was a little under nine dollars so it's really reasonably priced. In this book are some really cool projects for decorating pillow, lampshades, bathroom decor, kitchen decor, everything you can think of. And I've made the drapes with the grommets. I put grommets on clothing too. And if you're interested in seeing how I put it on a t-shirt, there's going to be a link listed below your YouTube screen. So you want to just scroll down to the description section, click on show more or the down arrow and you'll see that link. So let's take a look at some grommets. Grommets are also eyelets. They're the same thing and the method for putting them on is almost identical. So here are some large eyelets and then here are extra large eyelets. And then this is the tools that you use and you also need a hammer. So let me show you how to use set your fabric up. So there are two sections to your grommets or eyelets. This one is very tall and this one's got little teeth on the back. The one that's tall is the one that's going to go on the front of your fabric and this one here with the teeth is going to go underneath. So you take the tall one, so on the front side of your fabric, put it down and I put little uh, dots where I want my grommets or eyelets to go so that I know everything's centered and marked correctly. Then take a pencil and trace around the inside. So you wind up with this small circle like that. Then you're going to take your fabric and bend it in half in the middle. Take your scissors and cut a little slit in it. And then you're going to continue cutting this fabric out in the center. Take your grommet section that is for the front, that's the tall one, and here's the front side of my fabric. I'm going to take it and just push it down over it. Take this round piece and it has a little groove going around it. It's called the anvil. You want the side with the deep groove in facing up. Take the front section of your grommet and put it down. And it's going to fit right in that little groove so that it stays in place. Then take the piece that has the teeth on it, bring it over, take this little tool, put it right down in the center, and then hold your grommet in place. And with a hammer, you're just going to zap it and then it's all done. So this is what it looks like from the front and then here it is on the back. The small eyelets are put on the same way and you can get these, I bought mine at Walmart. You do have to buy a separate kit for this one. This kit here to install it will not fit these. I recently bought this burlap at Walmart and I bought it because I absolutely loved the color and I wanted to make a table runner out of it. But I wanted to make it very plain and simple. I was just going to put a little bit of decorative fabric at each end. I serged the edges with my serger machine. It was just going to be very simple. The serged edges were going to show. But the problem I have is that it's impossible to cut a straight edge on this burlap. No matter what I did, the edges were wavy and my table runner kept getting narrower and narrower as I tried to straighten out the edge. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing to cover up that edge. So I have to fool the eye 
and I'm going to fool the eye by cutting a wide strip of fabric. For this one, I'm cutting it three and a half inches. You can cut it any width you want. And then I cut many strips, stitch them together so I'd have enough to go all the way around the edge. Then on each long edge, I fold it over and pressed it all the way down, and it's a quarter of an inch. Did the same thing over here. Then I folded it in half. Before I pressed it, I made sure that the two edges were not exactly lined up together. I pulled the top edge back a little bit and then pressed. And this is so that when I go to sew it on, it will catch the bottom edge. So you put the short side on top of your fabric, the wider side on the bottom of your fabric, and when you stitch it down, it will catch that bottom edge. So now I've placed one edge underneath, and remember you're placing the edge that is the widest underneath. And then you just pull it to where you think it's going to go. Fold this top piece over and just pull it kind of from both ends to where it looks straight. And you'll never know that it's wavy underneath. And then you can pin it down. Now I'm going to show you how to go around the corners. So once you've got it pinned on one edge, you want to pull this strip around like this and lay the bottom edge underneath. Then you're going to fold it. So now you've got this piece sticking up in the middle. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and push it all the way out like this and then fold it over so that this line goes right in at an angle like that. Turn it over to the back and do the same thing. Push it so that it's at an angle like that. And then bring it back over to the front and go ahead and pin it down and continue all the way around. Once you have it all pinned on, then you want to just stand back and go to one end of the runner and look down it and see if any edges are still bowing in or out. Then adjust the placement of the binding. Once you've got it all on to your satisfaction, then you're going to stitch right on top of the edge here all the way around. I hope you enjoyed this tip of the week and that you learned something new. Uh, there will be links listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. Make sure you check them out. Just scroll down, click on show more or the down arrow and you will see the links appear. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.